Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today I'm coming to you with your weekly oracle card guidance. We are asking generally what is it that we need to know right now? Uh, what is that bit of information that we need right now that's going to assist me in the week ahead or with the current problems that I have or the dilemma that I have or simply just guidance as I go along on this, on this, at this time in my life. All right, so we have three options. So we have the Earth Warrior cards here. We have the Isis Oracle here and we have the uh, Crystal Mandala cards here. So it's option one, two and three. Go ahead, make your selection. In the description box is the timestamp as always. And I'm gonna go ahead and start the reading. So for those of you here have chosen the option number one, okay, we're asking, what is it that you need to know right now? What is your guidance for this week? What is your guidance for this point in time? Okay, I feel it's this card here. It's almost speaking to me. That's interesting. I'm quite sure that I've chosen this card for this uh, channel before. It's weird how that comes up um, nowadays. I feel that uh, even though I've been using similar decks as I've used in the past uh, quite often, uh, the very same cards come up and, and it's not quite different. So uh, the card here is called Ulika Vahini. Ulika Vahini, and it's she who rides the owl brings justice, and it's the number eight. Okay, so what I feel this card speaks about here is that there, there is there's more than one component at play. So I'm hearing here that the energy that you have at your disposal can be utilized to your success or to, um, to your advantage. And it's up to you to decide that. It's up to you to actually choose that path. And it's in order to do that, you need to take a step back and take another look at the situation, like almost have a bird's eye perspective of it, taking into account uh, all the factors co to be considered. And when you have this perspective and when you have uh, another understanding and at the same time you're using the energies at play to, to your advantage, if you're being wise with it, if you are being strategic with it, then you will have what it is that you need to, to have. Then you will not suffer from it. Then you will not have difficulties. Or then you will be um, basically optimizing what you have at hand right now. So the question to ask yourself at this point is, am I doing the best that I can with what I have? You know, well, if you are feeling a bit restless or if you're feeling like uh, you have a lot of opportunities, but you can't quite take advantage of them, then find a way in which you can go about taking advantage of those opportunities. If you're feeling like you, you don't have any opportunities, but that uh, you have all the energy and all the and all that you need to have in order to be able to do well at those opportunities, then create opportunities for yourself. Create the situation as you desire it to be in this situation here. Look at it from a different perspective and see how you could better tackle this. Because what awaits you is a certain kind of, um, uh, like a success almost. It talks about justice here. And I think the justice that they're referring to is the kind of balance. And the, the balance that you have, that your being has, and with your soul and with the world around you, is a form of justice in itself. It's it's actually, it's, it's talking about being in alignment with all that you have at hand. And sometimes one can get wrapped up in thought processes or worries or concerns or whatever it is that you get wrapped up in and then you're not able to actually see what benefits you have or what advantages lay at your feet and what you can take, what you can use to, to, uh, to your advantage rather. So the question, um, for the question that you have uh, brings about the answer that whatever you have at your disposal, use it to the best of your ability, be strategic, take a different perspective, be wise about the way in which you're going about this, and don't let your uh, worries or despair or any kind of niggling anxieties come in the way of this, because what lies ahead is this alignment that you have, that you can completely align yourself with the universe, that you can completely be successful at what you are headed towards. It's just your different perspective that's 
that's required and also as I mentioned more than once now being strategic with what you have all right so I hope that's been helpful and I hope that you can use this and use energy at play to actually benefit you in the upcoming weeks so that's it for those of you who've chosen the first option which is this one here and this would be your um your earth warriors your earth warriors um oracle by Alana Fairchild so moving on, we have here the Isis Oracle. And this is the deck number two, and it's called the Isis Oracle by also by Alana Fairchild. I was inspired to use her work her uh, cards today. And we're asking, what is it that we need to know? Where's the message that I need to hear for this week that will benefit me as I go along? Where's the message that? Ah, there we are. We have two cards. I'm gonna go with this because it feels right for me. So we have here the soul retrieval and we have spirit of Isis. And the the one the one card talks about deep soul healing with the goddess and the other one uh, talks about the spirit of Isis. So the actual spirit, the triumph of the goddess. So what I'm hearing here, what I what I believe these cards mean is that in order to be able to access the spirit of Isis, in order to be able to have the triumph of the goddess, in order to be able to have what it is that where you feel like you're flying, where you feel like you you are succeeding, um, you are you know you're winning in your life, and you are actually doing really well with regard to your particular situation or person or um, you know an emotion or whatever it is that you've come here to ask for today. If you are to, to be able to achieve this, you need to find the pieces that are missing. OK, you need to go back and look at what needs to still be healed and what still needs to be discovered, what still needs to be looked at in, into your life to br be brought back into balance, to be brought back into alignment and and heal that, work with that and call upon the God goddess Isis to actually help you in that process or whoever else you you have faith in and and work with that, because only if you work with what with the broken pieces only when you work with what needs to be um, healed in your life at this moment can you actually have that uh, triumph of the god of the goddess but having said that in order to do that you need to be able to have the spirit of isis you need to be able to have this kind of determination to be to be healed to have this this energy this kind of strength that you have within you that you simply need to tap into this inner strength that's actually going to rise to the fore and and heal you and be part of your healing process as you go along right now and it brings you to a point where you feel like you're whole again so when i see this card uh, what the, the image that i get is like an ethereal body of a person which has holes in it and what i'm seeing is that these holes need to be filled and you know whether it means actually taking care of any physical ailments that you have being responsible and taking good care of it ensuring that you've healed giving your body the time it needs to heal or whether it means actually tackling an, an emotional issue that's been plaguing you for some time whether it's a short time or a long time or a lifetime and actually Singling it out and saying, okay, well, I'm going to work with that now and I'm going to give myself a week or a day or, or some time to actually be able to work with this and see where I get to with that because this is something that is obviously hindering me from experiencing the triumph or the success or the, the wellness, the well-being that I need in my life. And in order to do that, well, I need to perhaps make a list of things that I need to resolve in my life in order to be able to get to that point where I'm feeling that peace and I'm feeling that bliss that comes with uh, being triumphant in one's life. And so, yes, soul retrieval is an important part of this. What have you lost along the way that you still need to retrieve? What, where have you lost pieces of yourself in trauma or in breakups or in rejection or simply in, in difficult uh, experiences? Are you able to go back and recall that person that you were before you'd lost those, before you'd lost that? Are you able to recall that energy that belongs to you that you've lost along the way due to perhaps, you know, a disappointment or due to some degree of apathy or something that's lost 
your shine? You know, are you able to retrieve that again and make it a part of yourself? And, and, you know, just kind of let go of what it is that has been holding you back and give yourself the permission to embody the spirit of Isis and to experience this triumph and to be this person who's fully in oneself. You know, you're fully embodying yourself and you are able to go about in this world uh, knowing that you you are okay, that you actually are doing okay, you well and you know you are able to to um simply enjoy being here and um make the the most of what you have uh you know at your avail or with whatever you're busy with or in your relationships okay so in order to do that you, you there is a, a degree of healing that's needed and that's what they're advising you to take care of right now heal that part of yourself retrieve that aspect well, that that part of you, those uh, that energy of yours that has been lost, and embody this spirit here, which is that of triumph, and it's the spirit of the goddess, right? So, um, I wish that uh, I wish you well in doing that, and I'm sure that you will have success in this if you are able to look at at uh, what this card is suggesting. And so, happy healing to you, and um, yeah, I feel that. Aside from, you know, from the fact that, yeah, there's this healing here. I feel that if you can just, you know, uh, access the spirit of, of Isis, you know, perhaps if you have any interest, read about her or read about um, what she means to, pe to the people who believed in her and, and see if there's something there that resonates with you in terms of, of how it applies to your life at this moment. Yeah, if you, if you, you know, feel inspired to do that. But otherwise, I'm wishing you well, and as I said, happy healing. And I am uh, going to move on to the next option here. So for those of you who've um, come by and chosen the third option here, we're working with the Crystal Mandala uh, deck by Alana Fairchild. And we're asking the question, what is it that we need to hear what is, what is it that we need to do right now? Um, what is it that we've come here to hear? Oops, there's something that's come out already. And I actually feel inclined to take it. So I'm, I'm going to take that, but I'm actually just going to shuffle the cards and, and see if there's something else that needs to come out, if at all. Okay, there is something. Here we are. Okay, so what I'm hearing here is that until now you've done you've you've actually um, uh, been um, along a journey in which you have actually made some progress, and the progress that you've made is has been um, you know it has value, it has worth, it has. It's brought you to a certain space where you can be more comfortable in your skin and, and better with yourself. And what they're asking here to, uh, is that you acknowledge that. You acknowledge your journey and you acknowledge how far you've come until now and what you've been doing. And note that the strength that you've had in order to be able to walk that path will always prevail. It will always be there. And that this energy, this kind of um, power that you have, uh, the determination that you had, the resilience that you had, the uh, stamina that you, you had during this time has allowed you to come to that space where you are. And you will, that will always prevail. Yeah, sometimes you might feel a bit weaker than, than other times uh, in that state. But it can, you can, you always have that and you can always activate that. You can always go back and tap into that energy again even if you're feeling a bit exhausted or even if you're feeling tired. And what they're saying is that, firstly, come to a place of stillness and calm within yourself where you can simply acknowledge what you've been through, what, you've, what you're have what you going through and, uh, and how far you've come and what qualities you've needed to display and to use in order to be able to come to your path as you have until now. And recognize that and give yourself a pat on the back congratulate yourself for that for that what you ex have experienced until now and then use your own discernment to actually move along use your own discernment to work ahead 
as you go ahead, because that is what's required for the next steps. So this is the energy of the present and this is the energy of the future or your upcoming future, your immediate future, perhaps what's about to happen, perhaps what you what you'll do as soon as you end this video and you you continue. OK, so it's about recognizing that strength that you have that's always yours and some accolades, perhaps, that you have that's always yours to hold on to. And then embodying discernment. You know, with this, draw on your own confidence to discern what is the right thing for you to do right now. Where is it that you need to focus? What are your priorities at the moment? What is it that you need to do in order to, to make the best of the situation? If you are in a time a crunch and you need to decide very quickly whether the, you need to do one thing or the other and what would be the best for you use your discernment because you have the power from experience from the experiences that you've had to to be able to discern you know and you might have heard from from others or for those around you what you should be doing and use that information you know listen carefully listen like a hawk um, it was, it's like watch like a hawk but I'm hearing like listen like a hawk so I don't know what that's about but I guess like listen quite intently and quite um, you know listen with this kind of discernment that you, one has N look you know scouring your situation and saying okay what do I need to do now and is it is it you know should I go in this direction or not and feel in your gut what is it that you should be doing because you can trust your intuition now and you can trust your sense of discernment and you'll always have what you have uh, already accumulated in your life in terms of your skills or your accolades or some of the uh, degree of confidence that you have and you can rely upon that to be able to discern in the in the future and they suggest here well so this is the number 51 um and the next one is this number 22 and the, it says here well it, it's it, it's it quotes the green chrysophase um, and this is the this is Christ of praise, sorry. And uh, this is one of the stones that you could use to support you in this time. It's interesting that that came up. Also, with this very green, uh, very strong green um, energy or feeling here. And the other thing that I'm here, well, I'm seeing here is that Ascended Master Hilarion is what you, uh, or Hilarion, or I'm not really sure how you pronounce that, but basically. Perhaps this person, this ascended master, uh, the spirit or this being can offer you some guidance. Perhaps there's somewhere, you know, if you if you want further information, you can go and, and uh, look up this person and see what what their energy is or what they have to offer you, because it's that it's their energy and what they have to offer you right now, which is going to assist you in terms of your discernment and assist you to make uh, progress. And here we have the Crystal Masters 333, and here we have the Crystal Goddesses 888. I'm actually inspired to read uh, a little bit more about this card here. I feel that it would be of use for you. So I'm going to just go ahead and find the book. And this is the book that comes with this deck. I'm going here. to read what the message is within this book. And um, it's, it's quite a lot here. So you have the you know, a message that's like a channel message uh, from the Ascended Master Hilarion, I think. And then you have uh, like an explanation from it. And then you have the healing process. So what I'm going to do here is uh, your reading is a little, going to be a little bit longer, but you, you can stop at this point if you if you don't want to hear the rest of this. But for those of you interested, I am actually going to go ahead. I'm going to read the, the, the um and the, the channeled message, and then I'm going to just uh, go um, touch briefly upon the healing process. So it says here, we bring you we bring you the blessing of discernment. There is an expression that all that glitters is not gold, and that appearances can deceive. Uh, this does not mean you must greet the world and all its appearances with suspicion and distrust. It does mean it is wise to trust what you feel and sense happening beneath the surface even if that seems to directly oppose what is being said or what many others believe. The world is filled with opportunities for you to practice sensing truth behind the mask. You will do this most accurately when you allow your instincts and intuition to inform you without rationalizing the information so that it matches the superficial appearance of things. If intuition or instinct is niggling at you, then it is trying to communicate something. Listen. Take your time to feel your authentic response. 
Discernment helps you cut through illusion, manipulation and deception and get to the heart of the matter at hand. It is the intelligent use of your intuition and instinct which will help you navigate through the multitude of choices available to you every day and choose what best serves your life's journey. So I feel this is in alignment with what I said because what I feel for you is that you have more than one option and you're not really sure what to go with. And I feel like the popular opinion is not the right opinion. You actually need to go with what you feel. Okay, so I hope that is useful for you. And I'm just going to read a bit of the healing process here, as I mentioned. So it states, to integrate this guidance, you may like to say this invocation now. I call upon the crystal angel of green, Christ of praise, and ascended master Hilarion, who love me unconditionally. Thank you for the divine healing blessing of discernment. May I open my perception, detached and neutral to discern the truth in all people, situations and events. May I be blessed with the knowledge of what is true and what to do. My discernment brings me inner security, empowerment and confidence to trust myself now. Through my own free will, so it be. So yeah, this is the kind of secu the security and the empowerment and the confidence that you have already that you can trust, right? And this is what this card for me uh, represents for me. So I'm going to stop there. And for those of you who are keen on uh, getting a hold of this deck, I, I'm not um, getting any money for this, by the way, but I do find that the uh, Alana Fairchild cards are pretty much in alignment with the kind of healing that I, uh, uh, yeah, that I want to bring into the world and which I believe the, the world needs at this moment. And uh, this this uh, oracle deck here is called the Crystal Mandala Oracle, and the book itself has like this these healing processes and healing invocations and and also channel messages and and quite in depth um, explanations. So if you're interested, you can grab yourself a copy of one of those. Of course, you don't need to. You can just come by to my readings <laughs> and uh, and access them too. All right. So I'm wishing you a lovely week ahead and time ahead. And I hope this message has been of help to you. You know, trust yourself. Uh, you can trust yourself. You've afforded that to yourself. And so go ahead, trust yourself and it's going to be okay if you do. So I want to thank all of you for coming by today. I'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead. And um, many blessings to all of you. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.